This short section will explain how a deferred pension will work under the new Armed Forces Pension Scheme. Your pensionable service will begin on your first day of paid service. You have to give two years of pensionable service to be entitled to all the benefits of the Armed Forces Pension Scheme. This is true for the current schemes and the new one, and the two years is known as the vesting period. Assuming you complete the vesting period, but you leave before you are given 20 years of service, or before you have reached age 40, then your pension will be deferred. This means that you won't receive any pension entitlements in the period immediately following your exit, but instead will draw your deferred pension at your state pension age. Now the state pension age used to be 65 for everyone, but it has been moving steadily to the right and your individual state pension age will depend on when you were born. I recommend that you check this website here to work out your own individual state pension age. You will not get an automatic lump sum when you begin to draw your deferred pension under the new scheme, but you will have the option of giving up or commuting up to one quarter of your annual pension in order to raise a lump sum. This will be at a ratio of 12 to 1. So, as this example shows, if you accept a reduction to your pension of £1,000 per year, you will be able to raise a tax-free lump sum of £12,000. As explained in the main film, during your military service, your pension pot will be increased by an average earnings measure each year to ensure that it maintains its buying power. Once you leave the armed forces, a similar process will occur but the indexation rate used will be the Consumer Prices Index, or CPI. At the time of making this video, in May 2013, the most recently published CPI rate is 2.8%. Once you begin to draw your deferred pension, it will be uprated by CPI each year. We will now return to the main film.